As I returned from my year abroad in the world's fourth most populous country, I faced a deceptively simple question. How was Indonesia? Summarizing a year of life in the world's third largest democracy, largest Muslim majority country, and biggest archipelago was no easy task. Indonesia was beautiful, I'd reply and smile. To describe a nation with 250 million people that stretches over 17,000 islands as simply beautiful may seem like an oversimplified answer, but there is perhaps no word more suitable for such a breathtaking place. The moment I stepped off my final flight and arrived in East Java, the beauty of the country instantly became apparent. I was quiet my first few weeks in Indonesia, living in a place with almost no English speakers and knowing very little Indonesian myself. I spent much of my time simply looking around at my surroundings. Java is lush with greenery, plentiful rain, and nutrient-rich soil. In rural areas, farms stretch as far as the eye can see. Chickens and cows roam free, and elegant mosques stand in the distance. The cities are filled with so much life, literally. With a population of 140 million, Java is the most populated island in the world. Motorcycles zigzag through busy streets. Vendors stand on sidewalks selling satay ayam, martaba, bakso, bakwan, and other foods. The sound of motors, traditional dangdu music, and mosques fill the air. One of the first words I learned in Bahasa Indonesia was inda, meaning beautiful. Every day, I would point to new things, such as a colorful village or a sunset, and use this word. Wah, itu inda sakali. Wow, that's beautiful. As my vocabulary increased, so too did my knowledge about each place. Fortunately, Indonesians are very friendly and curious, always saying hello. Each interaction is a learning experience, an opportunity to hear new words, learn about culture, ask questions, or even get invited to a random wedding. As I learned more and more Bahasa Indonesia, my interactions became increasingly complex and meaningful, and my relationship with my surroundings was no longer only visual. I was no longer just pointing at Java skyline, which is speckled with glorious mountains, but describing it. I learned that some of the towering mounds are actually volcanoes, active volcanoes. Waterfalls, lakes, craters, and beaches are also often within an hour's reach, and my newfound language skills took me to many of these places. I will never forget visiting Mount Bromo, an active volcano in eastern Java which thousands of tourists ascend each day. A bumpy jeep ride at 2 a.m. is required to reach the viewpoint in time for sunrise. You may then ride a horse up to the mount itself, staring straight into the depths of the volcano. At the peak, I chatted with various Indonesians, learning that they had come from all corners of the country to visit this famous site. Or when I visited Ijen Crater, a tough three-hour hike up a mountain followed by another hour journey down a dark, slippery crater with an otherworldly blue fire waiting at the bottom. Sulfur miners descended at all hours of the night, offering to help the clumsy tourists hike down. One miner wore a I Heart New York sweatshirt, and his face lit up when I complimented his clothing in Indonesian. He then guided me down the crater. The sunrise an hour later revealed a grandiose landscape. Perhaps my favorite experience of all was visiting the Jomblang Cave in central Java, a hidden paradise in the midst of an ancient forest. Standing at the edge of a cliff, I was put into a harness and lowered nearly 200 feet by a group of villagers pulling a rope. A hike through a dark, wet cave followed. Finally, a stunning, heavenly light appeared. By the end of my 10-month stint in Indonesia, I could narrate the detailed stories behind the various temples, volcanoes, beaches, and more in Indonesian. My language skills took me to faraway islands, to bullfights, to a park with wild Komodo dragons. But if you were to ask me how Indonesia was, I'd still answer the same way. Indonesia, anda indah sekali. You are so beautiful. <laughs>